Folks, I've got my assistant coach here. Stand up, show him the back. Yeah, okay. got my assistant coach with me. Um, from Make-A-Wish, spent a day and a half with us, gave us the game plan, told me we should trap Johnny O'Brien, don't do what you did last time. So I listened to him and uh, brought us a lot of luck, kid. We appreciate you, man. Questions? You talked before about wanting your team just to sort of stick with it when things don't go the way. Just keep playing. How much of this today an example of keeping playing? We're getting closer, but when when we missed a basket inside and we fouled, we had four guys walking back to the other foul line with their heads down, and I had to yell, "We're winning this. We are going to win this," which proves we're still coach driven instead of player driven. We got to get to where. I'm doing less and they're doing more. But um, Julius is a big rebound. James Young, how he played there and how they played and block shots. And, you know, and that's a good team. I, everybody can say what they want about all this. And, um, but you guys have watched teams come through here. And the only way we could stop Johnny O'Brien is put two guys on him and sometimes three. Their guards made threes. They go 70 for 17 from the three-point line. How we won, got out of here with the W, we went one for nine from the three. And it was just trying to tell our guys, keep driving the ball, keep driving the ball. John, the fact that you did get out with the W and we saw some emotion from your team there at the end over the corner with Julius and Andrew and all like that. I mean, is that a step on in this team? Yeah. We've shown a lot of them. Oh, yeah. We're making, we're making strides. Um, you know, we started the half and started the game. You know, I had to call a timeout to start the game. The half had a couple guys that didn't have enough energy. I had to take them out. You know, we you know got right back into the game. But you know, um, you're not going to play great every night out. We missed a bunch of shots. We missed every three. Yet you still fight, and the game's never over till the horn sounds. And that's what I just kept telling them: just play. And uh, but that's an NCAA tournament game right there. That's what it's going to be like, that kind of game. John, you've got guys who are in the way back who are passing up open 15-footers to take contested, contorted shots in the lane. Is that just how this team's going to have to play? Well, we, you have to understand what we were telling them in every time out, which was drive the ball, do not settle. Johnny had four fouls. He was not going to foul. So he may put his hands up. Sometimes he got out of the way. So we just, you know, I. The, the jump shot that um, Andrew took, I'm like, why did you shoot a jumper? Drive it. Um, and from that point on, he and his brother and James just drove the ball. We cleared out the court, we spaced it out, and said, forget about all the offense. Pass it twice and drive it. And that's what we were doing. Was this one of those games that, that you felt like Julius, he was struggling offensively until that last one went in? That he, he found I was telling him in every out. huddle, just get an offensive rebound to win the game. Quit getting blocked out. Quit getting in a mud wrestling match with somebody. Release and run and go get the ball, which is what he did on the last play. The two plays before that, he had opportunities to rebound, and he was in a mud wrestling match. Just release and go run and go get the ball, which is he just released it. He grabbed it, stuck it in, and... You know, we win. Coach, can you talk about the excitement level in the locker room back here? And uh, how, how this helps in February, a win like this, uh, how, how it helps and propels your team? Uh, well, you know, to, to win in overtime with a freshman team like we were playing with most of the game, it's, it's the plays they made down the stretch, the baskets they made, even though the other team would not go away. And they weren't going anywhere. It was almost like whoever had the ball last would win. And the guys that have watched me coach know that I don't call timeouts in those situations. 15 seconds to go, I'm not going to call a timeout, especially when he doesn't have a timeout. And I've got ridiculed for that, but I just think it's let these guys make a play. Um, James Young went in there, and Julius got fouled on one, and you know, it was, it's how we play. We had timeouts late, they didn't have any. I wasn't going to stop that clock and give them a chance to interject coaching. I just said, let, let us play. Our kids are, are ready for this, and they were. Well, 
question? Cal, what does it say about Andrew's progress that he had a, a bad shooting night that was able to make those two free throws to send it to And he had six rebounds, and he had four assists, and he had two blocks. I don't want him to judge himself on shooting. You know what I told him after the game? We came out of that timeout, and twice I ran a play for him to get a wide open shot on that wing. And he missed. And I said, and I'll run it again for you, because I know you can make that. And don't you worry about missing. If we give you a play, and you, you got to make it. So he, he's getting better. We still, we had heads hanging a couple times. We, we you really choose how you're going to react to situations. We are a hundred times better than we were. But they still have the dregs of that. For me to have to say, we are winning this game. We are going to win this game. One of them had to huddle and say that. We're winning this, guys. Just settle down. We're fine. So, John, was that good finish. Was that more the way you want James to try to play through contact? Yeah. Not? And I thought he did good stuff. And again, you know, here he is. He's one for four from the three. Um, I'd like him to make a few more foul shots. So if he goes seven for nine from the line, you know, instead of five or nine, he's, you're the best shooter in the gym. How can you go five for nine? And it's, you know, we're, we're working on a lot of stuff right now. A lot of it's the inner dialogue they have with themselves. A lot of it's being to us and recognize your teammate doing something good. We have the bench cheering for a specific guy. Each guy's got a, one guy to talk about energy. We're doing everything to get these guys to think different than they've ever thought in their life. No one's ever attempted to do what we're doing right now. All freshmen, all McDonald's, all Americans, bring them together and win a national title. No one's ever even brought in a few players, but never have tried this. Well, I'm having to do stuff I've never done before. I had to take out the table in my office. I got a couch in there now. <laughs> John, usually when your big guys switch on a guard. A couple of you got that. Jerry does it. I got it. That last one. Okay. Wasn't that fun. Uh, Ready? Yes. <laughs> usually when your big guys switch on the other team's guards, they, they really defend. Hickey was able to do some business. Why, why do you think? Because our hands were down. He's six foot tall or less. You're seven foot tall, and you make yourself 6'2 by doing this. All you have to do is this. Now, here's what they do. I'm here, and he goes to shoot it, and the ball was already over my head, and I go like that. Well, your hand wasn't up. The ball already was over your hand. Just go like that. And if you watch the last time what Julius did, he went like that and stayed like that. The kid couldn't get a good shot off. But once on Willie, once on... Um, uh, Julius, they, they were like this. Well, now all of a sudden you're his size. So, but, you know, again, we, we had some breakdowns, but let me just tell you, folks, in a game like this with this team, we're growing in so many ways to come down and come together and do whatever you had to do to win. How about the ball that got tipped that was just out of our reach and out of our reach and out of our reach and they scored? I mean, that could have taken the wind out of our sails. It didn't. We just kept playing. Um, so, like I said, I'm proud in a lot of ways, but let's give credit to LSU. They beat us by 100 down there and had us here. And someone wants to question whether they're an NCAA tournament team, why? Well, they lost a couple, no, okay, so no one else loses. LSU's the only team that lost a couple games. You got teams with the same record, they're saying they're five seats. So, they're doing great. This was a great game for both of us. I'm just happy we pulled it out at the end. Thanks. Thanks.